Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Chukwan and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. So today I'd like to talk to you about one of the major changes to one of the objectives on the PL300 exam. Make sure you stay tuned to find out what has recently changed as of April of 2024 on the exam. Before I begin, are you planning on taking the PL300 certification exam? Then check out CertXP, a fun new way to prepare for that PL300 where you will get exposure to practice exam questions. Visit prag.work slash angelica40 and you'll save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription and get access to all of Cert XP features. Now, onto the video. Here you can see the official change log from Microsoft regarding what has changed on that PL300 exam. You do not want to show up to that exam and be surprised by some of those exam questions and exam topics. So if we take a look here at the change log, you can see the skills that were assessed prior to April 23rd of this year, as well as what has changed and what you can expect. So here in the change log, you can see that there have been some major changes to this objective, enhance reports for usability and storytelling. And that's what I would like to talk to you about today. Now, the two major changes, if we go up to this section here in the study guide, are enabling personalized visuals in a report, which is what I want to focus on here today in this video, and designing and configuring Power BI reports for accessibility. Now, there is quite a bit of content that goes with this topic here, and I will link some of the official Microsoft Learn documentation regarding building and designing reports for accessibility so that you can prepare the best you can for those sections on the exam. Also check out the playlist that we have on our channel on setting up reports for accessibility and using those principles of universal design. So in my report here, I wanna to talk to you about the personalizing of a visual in your Power BI reports. Now, the first thing is that this must be enabled by the report creator in your options and settings. So you'll go to the file tab and select options and settings and options again. And then in the current file section in report settings, you will see a section titled personalized visuals. Make sure that you have this enabled or else you won't be able to set this up in your reports. Now, what this looks like, when you have enabled this, this can be configured for the entire report page or for individual visuals. So first we must turn this on. And if we don't toggle this feature on, you won't see that icon. But as soon as we toggle on this feature, personalized visual, you will notice here in the header, we have a new icon in those header icons. This is the icon that's gonna allow you, that notifies you, that lets you know that this visual is able to be personalized by the end user in the service. And we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Now, if you wanted to determine whether each individual visual was able to be personalized, what you would do is select that visual, go into the settings to format the visual, and then under general and header icons, you can choose which icons are available. And if I didn't want this bar chart, if I didn't want my end users to be able to personalize this visual, I would just toggle this off and now that icon goes away and they cannot personalize their view of this visual using this feature. I will leave that toggled on and we'll check this out in the service. Now also in this personalized visual section, you will notice there is a, another option where it says report reader perspective. So you are able to create perspectives that includes dimensions and measures you want the end users to interact with for the personalized visual experience for them. Now to create that perspective, you must use the tabular editor, which is an external tool that you have to download and then connect and launch. So that is not gonna be covered in this video here today. I don't expect that this is going to be specifically covered on the exam because it is an external tool, but do know that perspectives is an option that you can set up by creating that perspective in the tabular editor. All right, so what I would like for us to do here now is to go to the Power BI service where I have this 
report published and we can take a look at creating personalized visuals and personalized views of this report and these report visuals from the Power BI service. So now that we're here in the Power BI service, let's take a look at some of the things that you can do. So as a report creator, it's, it's really difficult sometimes to choose a single visual or even a report setup that is going to satisfy everyone and meet the requirements for all users. So it's nice that you can go in and set up this personalized view. Maybe you want to go in and swap out what's on a certain axis or you want to change the visualization type. You can do this with this personalize the visual feature. So if we take a look, let's say, at this failed banks by state visual here right now, and I select personalize this visual, you can see some of the options that I have here to manipulate. If I wanted to change the visualization type from a stacked bar chart to, let's say, a stacked column chart, I can do so. What if instead I wanted to also change what was on the x-axis instead of the state? What if I wanted the city here? We could go in and swap that out. But instead, if I want to keep that as the state view and then just change it to my column chart, I can have that there. You can swap out the y-axis. You can add a new field here to the legend. So maybe here on the legend, we want to go in and add in that city there so we can see this broken down by city here. So lots of different ways that you can go in and personalize your view of a particular report. And once you have configured the changes that you want, you can capture them by adding a bookmark up here. So you can go in and add a personal bookmark here. You can call this the main view if you want, if this is the one that you want to keep as the, the default view that you see. You can select make default and click save, and that will be the one that is shown every time you click into this report. So it captures the changes, it captures the personalizations that you've made to the report, and now that you are able to view that here as well. All right, so remember, with that personalize a visual option, you are able to change the visualization type. You are able to swap out a measure or a dimension in your visual. You are able to add or remove a legend. You can compare uh, more measures than what was originally populated by that report creator. You can change the aggregations and so much more. Remember that in order to maintain the personalizations that you've applied to the report in your workspace, you will want to create that bookmark and save those changes so that those personalizations will be there when you open that report again in the Power BI service. Now, how might this present itself as an exam question on the PL300 exam? It could be presented possibly in a use case, in a scenario where it's saying that you need to create a report and you need to provide your users with a few different views or different versions or to be able to create their own version. And so I could imagine that they're going to give you options with personalize a visual, creating bookmarks, um, and more, maybe even creating a custom tooltip or a, a detailed view or on a drill through page or something like that. The purpose of that is not to confuse you, but you want to make sure, remember, that you're paying very close attention to the wording of the question. Look at the question itself, find those key phrases and terms, see if there's anything specific that would make one answer stand out over the others. And that's where you'll want to pay very close attention. So enabling personalized visuals in your report is something you have to do as the report creator from the desktop. You can enable it for the entire report page as well as for specific visuals. And then the end user is able to modify the visualization type, measures, dimensions, the legend, what measures are on their, their visuals, how many measures they want in that visual, and more. That's it for this video. Remember to check out the description for information regarding the accessibility and designing reports, accessible reports in the Power BI desktop to brush up on that topic before you sit for the PL300 exam. That's all for this video. My name is Angelica Chuquan, and I will see you in the next one.